How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't already know, I'm Andy and uh, today I'm going to show you the oil change procedure on a third generation Toyota Highlander. This one ours being a, a 2018 and during this procedure we'll be replacing a non-broken part. What's that about? First thing I got to do is get this thing just a little bit higher off the ground. I'm not one of those guys that's got a fancy lift, so we're going to put her on some ramps. Here goes. And now that we're up in the air, I just want to show everybody just watch that time lapse. No, I'm not supporting the car on cinder blocks. This ramp is missing its rubber foot so I just use the center block to keep it in place and so far it works pretty well anyway put our oil paint underneath here and we have a 14 millimeter drain plug bolt so pull that out and let this thing drain down broke it loose let's see how quick I can be here probably not quick enough oh not bad at all and that is oil with just over 5,000 miles on it. Every 5,000 we change the oil on this truck, SUV, whatever you want to call it. It's about what you want to do nowadays. We'll let that drain down and we'll go on to the next step, which involves the part we're replacing that isn't actually broken. Okay, so next we're going to get here to the oil filter housing. They call this the oil filter cap. Now here is the new oil filter. Uh, it's actually sort of a kit. Now this is the Toyota Lexus OEM part. Um, here's your part number 04152YZZA1. I get this at Walmart and it's almost the same cost as the Fram, so why not just get the OEM? Comes with your cartridge style filter, comes with your new O rings, and it comes with this little parge deal, this disposable piece you use at one time. First thing you want to do is on the bottom side of the filter cap, there is this little plug here. Just take the extension your 3 inch drive extension it, put it in there and break it loose. It may be kind of tight. Once that's broken loose sufficiently, you can just pull that off. And a little bit of oil comes out of there. That's where we get a little purge valve thing. So that's what this little plastic clear thing is. You're just going to shove it up here. Okay, let that gasket fall. I'll tell you that O-ring. Let's see, does it want to screw in or does it want to push in? It's supposed to just push in. There it is. That pushes in, it hits the valve inside, and it purges the rest of the oil from the oil filter housing. So let that get finished draining down. We'll remove that. Right, now that's done dripping out. That took a minute to drain all that out, but it is done. So just wiggle this out of here. Pull really hard. There you go. And that is that is done now. That's disposable. Just toss that away. And let's see where the heck did it go? There it is. We'll just take and we'll stick this cap back on here like that. And remember the uh, the O-ring. Make sure it's in place. Cast back on. Take your three drive extension again. And just give that make that nice and snug. Don't overdo it. And now to remove the oil filter cap from these Highlanders or from these three three and a half liter V6s. You're going to need this tool right here. Now, I don't remember the model, the part number, or anything like that. Um, I think I got this it was either Advance or AutoZone. It was under $20, like 10 to 15 bucks. And this is what you need to remove that, that housing. So you see it has little slots there. Those slots mesh up with these little column teeth right here. And of course the inner part meshes up with this right here. It fits on here just like that like that and that's how you get this off of here your standard oil filter wrench will not do it believe me i tried a few times and it just simply wouldn't do it i had to break down and go buy the wrench once this is over here your 3h drive extension again this will pull this right off all right so my mistake this is a half inch drive there half inch fits in there nicely now that is how you'll twist this filter cap off all right once you've broken that loose and turned it a little turned it quite a bit you should be able to finish removing it by hand and just turn that over because you may you may get some oil but you shouldn't 
because that should have all drained out with the little purge valve thing. But we'll set that upside down in, in the pan here. And now I'll show you the part that is being that is being replaced, which is this oil filter cap. Like I said, this is not broken. It's still getting replaced, and I'll explain why. All right, now we do need to pull the oil filter out, so that's just very simple. It just pulls straight out like that, and that's what that looks like inside. I'm going to put this aside because this will be recycled with the oil. Now, the reason this is being replaced is this is actually, from what I've researched, a lot of people say is a common failure point on these cars. It is made of a hard plastic and it does take some force to remove. And these, over time, these things do eventually break. And maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Let's try to get some better light on this. I'm hoping we can see right there. You can probably see that it's starting to form a crack in that little ear, that lobe. And that's what people are talking about. Eventually, those over time, those things break. You know, it's up against a hot engine. You can weaken it. You know, and of course, the force required to remove it. Because obviously, you don't want it so loose that it's going to leak. So, you get, it, you get it tight, but not too tight. But so, it takes some force to remove it. So, it can form these little cracks. And eventually, those lobes will break off. So, they make a replacement for these. Down. This is the metal replacement made by Dorman. Now, I got this at Advance Auto. It was about 35 bucks with tax about 40 here in Tennessee. It is part number there, 917016CD. And this is made to replace just all kinds of these oil filter caps. You see right there, if it's Lexus 06 to 17, Scion 09 to 16, and Toyota 05 to 17. Now it claims that it fits on this, so hopefully that's right because this is an 18, but this is the part number it told me to get. So this is what I got. It comes with various sizes of those intermesh tubes, just in case you need to change it to a different one for your oil filter size. Let's go get this thing opened up. All right, so we cut the uh, part out of the package. Here's what it looks like. It is metal, aluminum, you know, something much sturdier than that hard plastic it does have these uh filter tubes so this one is slightly longer than the ones in it and this one's longer than that just in case you're using, running a different length oil filter for a different application however the one that's already in there fits the cartridge style filter for this car perfectly so that's what we're going to use so let's take it back over to the car put it on now you see it does already have o-ring here and it should already have an o-ring underneath this plug let's find out all right, it is still the 3 8 drive. Get this thing removed. Maybe. All right, I'll check that when it's on the car and I get, get a bit more of a, uh, easier to take this off. And just like with your classic spin-on type filter, make sure you get you a little bit of oil, put on the uh, O-ring, keep it from seizing in there, easier to remove next time. And back into the car, let's feed it up in here and thread her in. So far, it feels like it's threading in just fine, just like the old one. So we are clearing this little clip, whatever that's for. All right, and we're gonna get our filter wrench. And once again, our half inch drive extension. And this fits on the new housing just as well as the old one. I'm just gonna make this thing nice and snug. And with the cap mounted on the car, it is much easier to undo this plug. Just wanna pull it off, make sure it does indeed have an O-ring in there. And it does, and we'll put that back on. So this replacement came with O-rings. So I'm not using the ones that came with the filter. I am gonna save them just, you know, just in case. Obviously, it, it can't possibly hurt anything to save them, just in case I do need them. And we'll tighten that back down. Drain plug's already in and tight, so it's time to fill it up with oil. Now, your Toyota 3.5 liter V6, it takes um, 5.8 quarts of 0W20 full synthetic, so I buy the 6 quart. It's a box, it's a bag in a box is what it is. Um, but it's Havilland, it's just fine. Right here is 0W20, we'll fill it up with 5.8, kind of eyeball that and check it on the stick. 
nice thing about the Havilland Smart Change, it offers a little window you open up there. You can see the bottom of the bag. You can probably eyeball 5.8 quarts. And of course, we'll uh, put the cap back on this thing and do a dipstick check once we get her on level, back down level. And before I fired up for the first time, just coming in here and inspecting for any leaks, uh, especially around the filter cap, since it is a replacement. I don't see any, that looks like a little bit of old oil, maybe some that was left on there and I missed. Um, or maybe from when I put some on the o-ring, but that's definitely not new oil. Definitely ain't got anything coming from the drain plug. I'll go wipe that off and let's go fire the engine up and put it back on level ground so we can check the dipstick. All right, y'all, so that's going to do it for the oil change on this third gen Toyota Highlander, 2018 to be specific. Um, quite simple, very straightforward. If you've done things like this before, you know what to do. The biggest point of this video was to show off the replacement oil filter cap just in case you may own one of a, a Toyota with this engine a Toyota or a Lexus and may not be aware of that particular common failure part um, now you know and hopefully this will help you to go out and find the part and uh, know what to do obviously very simple maybe may not have been worth the video but I figured considering the part it was anyway I hope you all enjoyed it hope it was educational for you and I uh, didn't suck too much if you want to see more from me on this or on any of our other vehicles or anything else I may be putting out make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already make sure to like this video share it with others if you feel so inclined also go follow on Facebook and Instagram at that car vlog channel and of course check the description below for a link to a list of cars I'd be interested in reviewing and driving on the channel that was another one of my big ideas for the channel was to review cars um, also I will be monitoring this replacement cap um, over the next week or so and what after I've finished monitoring it and decided it's, it's okay I will make sure to uh, post a pinned comment down below with uh, the results of that monitoring anyways hope you all enjoyed it y'all take care now in case you're wondering what I do with that other 0.2 quart of oil I've got a jug here that I collect those little bitty amounts in and uh, once it gets I don't know once it gets a little bit up there I can use that for part of the oil change and buy a smaller amount for that next one so i'm trying to be smart with it and not waste that little bit of oil now of course just if it reads low on the dipstick after I fill it up i'll put the rest in i actually had to do that this time but whenever it reads fine and i don't need that other point too it goes in here and of course i'll be keeping the old oil filter cap because it's not failed it just have one lobe that's starting to crack the other three are fine um although the other two of them are thin but it'll be good backup just in case that metal one does somehow fail and this will at least keep the car on the road until I can buy another replacement.